What does hetero mean? Do you, do you know what hetero means? Hetero means different. What, does, what is the opposite word then? Homo. Homo means the same. What is that? As in homosexual, right? Um, or homogeneous. Okay. Hetero circle fin. Hetero circle is a very um, technical term. Do you understand? You don't use it in a everyday English, everyday language. Okay. Hetero circle is the word used um, explaining. Types of fins, not in any other cases, okay? Hetero circle. Circle would mean round, uh, rounded uh, shape. Do you understand? And hetero circle means the, uh, having two lobes. Lobes. You know what lobe means? Lobe is a rounded part of the body, all right? Hetero circle means having two lobes, okay? Two, one, two. And then, uh, this is the spine. Do you know what spine is? The backbone. The bone of the, uh, backbone of the fish extending. It goes through the upper lobe, you understand? And the upper lobe is larger than um, the, um, lower lobe okay this is what hetero circle means okay it it's uh it's, it means a fin which looks like this has two lobes one at the top one at the bottom and the spine going to the um uh upper lobe this is hetero circle you only can know this word Okay, it too is forked, but notice here. What does that mean, notice? Notice means uh, no. Okay. That the top fork is longer than the bottom fork. I explained that in the uh, picture, right? Usually in these fins, the top fork has cartilage, which gives it more strength. The top fork has cartilage. What is cartilage? Cartilage is a uh, is strong and flexible substance. Do you understand? Which is uh, in around your joints, okay? Like here, where your uh, bone connects and you move, or at inside your nose, okay? They have very um, strong and flexible substance in there. All right, it's not a bone which gives it more strength. Sharks typically have this type of fin. Sharks typically, what does that mean typically? Typical is the adjective of type. What is type? Type is um, a group of things having the same feature. You understand? Typical is the adjective of that and it means uh, having the most usual uh, feature um, of a kind that's being typical. So, tip. If you say typically, it means normally. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next. Please remember that some fish can achieve propulsion without the use of a caudal fin. For example, some eels have one long continuous fin where the dorsal or back fin and the caudal fin would be on a fish. And some eels have no fins at all. All eels swim by moving their bodies back and forth like a snake on land. This type of movement is called undulation. <clears throat> Sorry, that's undulation. Additionally, undulation isn't unique to snakes and eels. Many fish use it in conjunction with their caudal fins to propel themselves through the water. Now, let's look at some other creatures. Okay, until here. 
What is this part about? This is um, a part which says that there are some fish uh, which, can, which can go forward without the use of the caudal fin. And the example was what? The eels, all right? And then the, uh, the professor explained uh, how they go forward then. There was a movement called undulation, okay? So let's uh, look at this part now. Some fish can achieve propulsion without the use of a caudal fin. For example, some eels have one long continuous fin where the dorsal or back fin and the caudal fin would be on a fish. Some eels. What's an eel? Eel is a fish which looks like a snake. Right? Very long and thin. Okay. They have one long continuous fin where the dorsal or back fin and the caudal fin would be on a fish. Where the dorsal, what does that mean dorsal? Dorsal means at the back of an animal. Okay. Dorsal or back fin. It means dorsal fin and back fin, fin is the same thing. And the caudal fin would be on a fish. What does that mean? Caudal fin, dorsal fin, back fin, huh? What is the difference? I'll explain, don't worry. Hold on. This would be an eel, you understand? Um, and caudal means what? Towards the back. Dorsal means what? The back part. So what is the difference between a caudal fin and a, a dorsal fin? Dorsal means at the back of an animal, right? So right here, okay? So in, uh, in the case of a fish, the dorsal fin, fin would be this fin right here, okay? And um, whereas the caudal fin will be this one. You understand? Okay. But eels have a long continuous fin. Okay. And this fin, fin would be at the place where the dorsal fin and the caudal fin would be on a fish. So it has a long um, continuous fin where the dorsal fin and the caudal fin would be on a fish. Do you understand? This is very clear, right? Yay! And some eels don't have uh, fins at all. All eels swim by moving their bodies back and forth like a snake on land. This type of movement is called undulation. What is undulation? Undulation means waving, you know, waving movement. You understand? Additionally, undulation isn't unique to snakes and eels. Additionally, what does that mean? Additional means um, added, added, all right? So additionally means to say more, to add to what I've just said. Undulation isn't unique. What does unique mean? Unique means only one of its kind, all right? So that means uh, it's not only the snake, snakes and eels which use this undulation movement. Many fish use it in conjunction with their caudal fins to propel themselves through the water. Many f fish use it in conjunction with their caudal fins. Conjunction. What does that mean, conjunction? Conjunction would mean like connected, right? Um, so, conjunction means uh, two things happening at the same time or at the same place, okay? In conjunction with something means uh, they two together, alright? 
Okay. There's first the seahorse. Notice the large dorsal fin. Hold on. Seahorses move. Let's look at some other creatures. First the seahorse. Notice the large dorsal fin. Seahorses move from a vertical position, not from a horizontal one like most fish do. Thus, the seahorse's dorsal fin operates in the same manner that the caudal fin does for fish. Okay, let's look at some other creatures. So, in this part, they're talking about uh, the, she's talking about the seahorse, looking at some other um, saying some examples of other creatures, how they move. Let's look at some other creatures. What's a creature? Creature is a living thing which moves. All right. So a plant is not a um, creature. First, the seahorse. You know what seahorse is? Seahorse is a little uh, fish which swim which swims in a vertical position like this, not like other fish, vertical. And their head looks like a horse, you understand? First, the seahorse. Notice the large dorsal fin. Seahorses move from a vertical position, not from a horizontal one like most fish do. Okay. Thus, the seahorse's dorsal fin operates in the same manner that the caudal fin does for fish. Thus, what was thus? It's a formal form of so. So, thus means so. So, the seahorse's dorsal fin operates in the same manner. What does operate mean? Operate means work. All right. Operates in the same manner. What is, a, what is manner? Mana means um, in this uh, way, way, all right? In the same manner means in the same way that the caudal fin does for fish. Okay, that's the end of the passage. Let's look at some. Hold, no, hold on. I would have to draw something again. Uh, in this uh, lecture, there's a lot of drawing, but because they're um, talking about the shape, okay? So, this would be a seahorse, okay? This is the head and this is the tail. It moves in a vertical position. The head looks, would look like a horse, but... Um, I don't have time to draw that. Okay, so the dorsal fin. This is the fin at the back part of the fish. This would act as um, a caudal fish in uh, other fish. Why? Because uh, they move vertically, so this, it, this part is at the back. So this dorsal fin does what the caudal fins do in other fish. You understand? Whoa, yeah. Look at the questions. According to the professor, what does a fish use? Um, what does a fish use its caudal fin to do? What does it do? It propels, right? So it moves forward. So. A would be the answer. Move itself through water. Let's look at other options. B. Change directions while swimming. Uh, the professor said it's not for steering, which means uh, changing directions. And a pectoral fin would do that. Okay. So C is not the uh, B is not the answer. C. Dive deeper in the water. It has nothing to do with diving, so it's not the answer. Help it with undulation. Help it with what? Waving, right? But with, they don't do uh, the waving movement with the caudal skin, so D is not the answer.